Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Are you ready to finally see what I got from Repticon? This video has been long awaited and I am so sorry that it took me so long to make this video, but I will not make you wait any longer. Guys, this is Peter. So if you guys can't already tell, Peter is a spider ball python morph. If you can see, he does have a little bit of that wobble. So I'll show you here. Just a tiny, tiny bit. You literally barely can see it. There you go. You can see it a little bit there. I named him Peter, like Peter Parker, Spider-Man. I know it took me forever to make this video, you guys, but I have just been super nervous about showing him, about what people would think, think about me, think about him. I also know there's this huge controversy right now going on on the internet, on PetTube, about the morph. Honestly, I had no idea about it when I bought him. I saw a lot of snakes. Originally, I was going to get a corn snake. I was looking for ball pythons too, but I had my heart set on a corn snake when I saw him and I asked the guy if I can hold him, I fell in love. So he's around three months old. Right now he is eating medium mice. He seems to take that very well. I haven't had any issues with him so far. He kind of has like this yellowish on his sides now, which is like very new. And he has these beautiful green eyes. I really want you guys to see these beautiful green eyes. Do you see that? Oh god, he's so cute. Here's the color that I was showing you guys, this yellow that he's getting here on his side. If you guys can see that. Oh, he's coming to say hi. <laughs> There's that yellow that he's getting on his side I was telling you guys about. He just shed a couple days ago for me, so it seems like after he shed, that's when that appeared. So, I don't know. He's still beautiful though. Some other things about him. He, okay, so I know it's customary for ball pythons to really enjoy being in their warm on their warm side in their hide he does not i use this temperature gun to gauge his temperature i also have a heat mat regulator his temps are all good he just prefers to be on the cool side so usually when like just now when i got him he was sleeping and he was on his cool side the only time i really see him on his warm side is right after he's eaten um, he'll go on his warm side and just lay low for a couple days to just digest. He is also very handleable. He seems to like being handled. He doesn't really ever give me a problem when I'm trying to handle him. He has not bitten me. He hasn't hissed at me. Well, he's super friendly. He's very curious. He always wants to see what's going on. As you guys can see right now, he's just like, what's up? What's going on? I haven't held him in a couple of days. So he's so sweet and so calm and docile. I take him out. I might enter a clip here to show you guys um, me just taking him out, just driving around with him. I've taken him into PetSmart. People are obsessed. I'm still very overprotective of him. So I don't really like people holding him. I'll let them like pet his back, but I don't really like people holding him. Sorry, I don't even have him in the frame. One thing that I have noticed about him as far as the spider uh gene goes is that he'll his head will be upwards but he a lot of times he'll flip over his belly like that so i think that's something with um the spider gene because i know normally ball pythons do not like to expose their bellies because it makes them more vulnerable in the wild so that is something that i am connecting to his spider gene i'm not sure if that's you know 100 percent what it is but that's something that i figure just goes back to his spider gene he seems to hold his head up really well. He doesn't do that whole flipping upside down thing that you see most spider ball pythons do. I do have his tank set up here behind me. You guys can't see it, but I am thinking about doing uh, like a little bit of a tank setup or a tank tour so you guys can see where he lives and what his hides look like. I went a little bit overboard in his tank. I did a lot of DIY in there, I'm not gonna lie. Like his hide is completely DIY. Um, I went to Michael's and went crazy with the flowers in the greenery section and I got a bunch of stuff and between my hot glue gun and those flowers and greenery, uh, your girl went crazy. I know there's like a million things that I'm leaving out about him and I'm trying to think of what they are before I stop this video and then like completely forget. Questions that I have gotten about him that I would like to answer or address in this video. 
Um, I have a really small dog. I have a black Pomeranian if you guys have watched any of my other videos or one other uh, one of my other videos. I think my very first video that I posted it has my dog in there. A lot of people have asked aren't you afraid he's gonna eat your dog? No guys he's a baby. He can't eat my dog okay so my dog's way too big for him. And plus they will never ever see each other or get in close contact with each other unless I'm holding him and I'll never let that happen. So um, no. I, I'm not afraid that my snake is going to eat my dog. Another question that I have gotten is what if he bites you? I do not think he's gonna bite me. He is super handleable like I've said. He seems to enjoy being handled. I don't know if he enjoys it but it doesn't seem to bother him. He doesn't seem stressed out. He doesn't crawl into a ball when I'm holding him. He does just this. He, I'll do like this hand over hand method with him and he just seems to just like crawl around. He doesn't seem like he's trying to get out of my hand or trying to escape or run away. He seems to be really chill and cool and relaxed when I have him and he kind of just do that and wrap around and just hang out. When I go out with him, I put him in my hand, he'll wrap around my wrist and he'll stay there the whole time. I'll, I'll walk around with him and he's just wrapped around my wrist and he's perfectly happy. Another question I have gotten is, ooh, is he slimy? No, he's not slimy. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. I don't, I really don't, I cannot describe it, you guys. He's soft though. It's not like he's smooth, not soft, but he's smooth. His skin is smooth. Um, but like with like scales. I don't know how to describe it guys. He's not slimy though, okay? His skin isn't dry, but it's not slimy. So that's another thing that I have gotten. I do not feed him live mice. That's another thing people are like, how can you watch him just eat the poor mouse? Yes, it is sad, but it's also the circle of life and it's also what he does in the wild. I do not feed him live. I personally could not do it myself. So um, he does eat frozen thawed. He still has a lot of growing to do. Actually, he's gotten a lot bigger from when I first got him. When I first got him, he was like, he could fit like in the middle of my palm. He was so small, but he's grown so much. And it seems like after his recent shed, he's gotten a lot bigger too. So it could just be me. So that is all about Peter. I did not want to talk so much and have this video be super annoying but I just wanted to show you guys what I got from Repticon, what I named him, what he is, and there he goes inside of my shirt. Again, like I was saying, I know there's a lot of controversy going on right now about the spider ball py python morph um, and about all of their, in case you didn't know what's going on, there's a lot of controversy going on about people who purchase and breed and sell spider ball pythons because of their neurological disorder that they have which a lot of times will cause them to have difficulty eating cause them to have difficulty doing pretty much anything um a lot of cases can be very severe where it generally um affects their way of living i have mixed feelings about that as far as like i agree and i don't agree to a certain extent but as you guys can see peter here is super sweet he's super happy like i said he doesn't really have a hard time eating he eats just fine for me he's been eating every week since i've gotten him he has not missed a meal he doesn't ha to me he doesn't have a severe wobble but i have seen like the repticon that i went to i did see a very severe case of it and it was heartbreaking it was so sad guys it was like completely like turned upside down and it just like would not come upright so I definitely see people's point about the issue but Peter here doesn't have those issues so hopefully it doesn't like he doesn't gain them over time hopefully he stays the way he is because right now I think he's just perfect aren't you perfect you guys he has the most beautiful green eyes seriously it's just ugh. I love this snake so much. I know a lot of people are like, what is wrong with you? Why do you have a snake? You're insane. Anyone who knows me knows that I have always loved animals. I have always had a crazy fascination with animals and love for them, even the ones I was afraid of. I knew I wanted a snake a long time ago. Honestly, I would have gotten this snake years ago. The only thing that kept me from getting it is I was always under the impression that I had to feed them live mice and I just never wanted to do that. Once I found out that I could feed them frozen, that's when I was kind of like okay I'm getting a snake <laughs> and my husband was crazy supportive he was like whatever you want he kind of he's kind of a yes man when it comes to me anyway so if he sees that it's something I really really want 
he's not gonna tell me now so and he knew that I really 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 wanted a snake so he was down for it too he actually met me up at Repticon and was with me when I picked this little guy up um, I know some people are wondering we're wondering about my husband he's on board too he loves him as well he plays with him and holds him I'll see if I can find some things to insert of my husband playing with him but he loves him just as much as well but yeah he's such a sweet guy and I love him so much and he's so cute he is the sweetest little snake I highly recommend getting one if you guys are interested or curious about snakes I would definitely just do your research for sure because they're not easy to take care of if you've never taken care of any type of reptile before they really do take care of themselves honestly so yeah once again I'm so sorry it took so long for this video to come out guys honestly I wasn't hiding Peter from the world I was hiding the world from Peter okay <laughs> I don't even know if I said that right but anyway so yeah this is my spider ball python Peter that I got from the Repticon here in Jacksonville if you guys have any questions if I missed anything anything you want to know leave a comment down below please don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you have not subscribed if you guys want to see more of Peter or more um, things of Peter let me know if this video does well I am going to start another YouTube channel just for my animals just so it doesn't get like confusing about what exactly this channel is I know it's kind of confusing now because I did do a Repticon vlog on this channel as well as this video meet my pet snake so I will be starting another channel just for my animals so you guys can exclusively see them and they don't get lost in all the beauty and wigs and stuff like that that I usually do so definitely like this video if I do start another channel I'll link it below once I start it but if you guys like this video like I said give it a thumbs up subscribe and comment down below if you have any questions about me or mr. Peter I'll be more than happy to answer your questions so yeah